look like us, who are supporting us. So that's why I'm so grateful for people, you know, like you who are doing this incredible work, and so many of you, you know, sitting at this table. Um, just one real quick story I wanted to share is I'm also a nursing mom, um, nursing a 10-month-old little girl. Um, and, you know, when, in the first few days when I went to Kaiser, I was going to see a lactation consultant, and she was a white woman, and there was another sister in front of me who had an appointment before mine who was trying to get support. She was having some issues with her, um, you know, her supply, and she just was trying to ask a question, and first and foremost, the lactation consultant didn't even bring her into the space where she should receive the consultation, right? So when we talk about HIPAA, I mean, she's just in the hallway, um, just talking about all her personal information, where I'm sitting right here and can hear what she's talking about. Um, and the, the, the young sister was saying that her supply was dropping, but she wanted to keep nursing. And the lactation consultant, with her back turned to her, didn't even look at her, and she said, well, if it's been longer than two days, then your supply probably just isn't going to recover. You just need to put the baby on formula. And it's things like that that just, even when I say it now, just makes the hair on my arm stand up because this is what we're facing. And when you're vulnerable and you're, you know, just had a baby a couple days ago, I mean, you're very emotional. So it's things like that that are um, contributing to this epidemic um, in terms of, you know, challenges to us breastfeeding. So 